Hey, welcome back carnivores. So D'Artagnan sent me this. It's a pork belly, but it's also ribs and it's 15 pounds of massiveness. So we are gonna make pork belly ribs today. Stick around, I'll show you how I do it. Okay, let's jump right in. So this is 15 pounds of pork belly with the bone on. So usually we're used to buying pork belly without the skin. Sometimes we get the skin. We're used to buying ribs, either baby back ribs or spare ribs. These actually come from the underside. This is the underside belly with the belly ribs. So most of you haven't tried this before. So we're gonna take a couple of minutes, get this trimmed up. I'll show you how I make it. So our first step, is gonna to be to take the skin off. Now, some people throw the skin away, I don't. I like to make chicharron. Uh, if you guys wanna see that, let me know, because I do make it on the smoker. But I'm only gonna make it if at least five of you ask me in the comments to make it, then I'll show it to you. So comment right now while you're watching. So as you can see, my first step is to take the skin off here, and we're gonna save this skin for later. All right, so we've got this off in one piece. So uh, I'm gonna have to check the comments now, see if you guys wanna see chicharron or not. Let's take a look at the other side. Okay, on the flip side, this should look familiar. Looks a little bit like St. Louis ribs, but of course it's not. But we're gonna go ahead and trim it up the same. So you see the diaphragms hanging off here? This is not meat that we wanna cook and it's hanging off, so it'll just overcook anyway. So we're just gonna take that right off. Now, you notice the ribs only come to about here. So this extra piece over here, uh, we're gonna take that off and I'm probably gonna make bacon with it. Maybe I'll make some sausage. All right, so now I've got my rack of ribs and just like I do uh, with spare ribs or baby backs, I'm gonna trim any excess here. Again, useful pork belly will become something good. And then I'm gonna take the membrane off of the back because we want these to come apart. All right, I'm gonna take any remaining loose pieces off I think we got a good trim here. Now let's talk about the other side with the fat. So again, we're making ribs. We don't really want a fat cap on the ribs. We want the meat to be exposed. So I'm just gonna trim the fat to get closer to the meat here. Okay, so we got most of the fat off of there. You see there's still a little bit of that pillowy fat that's still here. This is great, because this is gonna render and as you probably know, pork belly fat is just scrum diddly umptious. So uh, for our binder, we're gonna use mustard, just like we always do uh, on pork products. The nice thing about mustard is not only is it a good binder that doesn't really affect the taste, uh, but also that bright yellow color allows me to tell where I've got rub and where I don't have rub. Let's go ahead and get this on a tray before we put any rub on use that to bring it outside. So I'm gonna do both sides. Make sure I get the sides. All right, for our rub today, we're using Bad Byron's Butt Rub. Uh, this stuff is really awesome. It's tasty, it's got most of the stuff that we usually use when we make our own rubs. A couple other things, got jalapeno. It also does not have any sugar or MSG. So for those of you who are watching your sugar intake, this will help. So this is a giant slab of ribs. So we're gonna be really thorough. I like pig butts and I cannot lie. The other pit masters cannot deny. Oh, you guys are still here, sorry. Uh, so we've got this fully seasoned. Uh, this is gonna sweat for a couple of minutes. Grill is up to temperature. I think it's time to get some smoke on these. I'll meet you at the grill. 
Hey carnivores, welcome back to the backyard. Those of you who've been here before will recognize Yoda over my shoulder, our Yoda YS1500 pellet grill. And those of you who have not been here before, why the heck not? So as long as you're here, Eat More Vegans is a channel all about cooking high quality meats. Grass and grain fed cows, pigs raised on corn, you get the idea, lamb, goat, etc. So hopefully uh, you'll enjoy what you're seeing today and decide you wanna be a subscriber just like all the cool kids. So we've got uh, Yoda running at uh, 275 degrees. Uh, it's a little warm for doing uh, just little spare ribs or back ribs, but because it's so thick on that belly, it's gonna handle it just fine. So we're running maple and apple pellets. You uh, watch before you know that apple is everything to pork, goes really well. So we're gonna have that applewood smoke and then uh, maple of course has a really nice flavor profile that it's gonna impart. So can't wait to taste these. Let's go ahead and get them on the grill. Okay, those pork belly ribs are gonna soak up smoke for the first three hours of our cook. I'm gonna spritz them about every hour with water and apple cider vinegar, but we'll be back here in three hours. Of course, it'll be about a second and a half for you guys. These kids today with their cars, am I right? All right, so it's been about an hour. Time to uh, give these ribs a spritz and it's gonna be our first opportunity to see what they look like. Let's take a peek. Okay, as you can see, we've got some nice color starting, but still got a long way to go. Okay, we're right at the two hour mark. Let's take another peek, probably give it another spritz. Okay, we're getting a lot more color on it. Starting to see a little bit of pullback along here along the bones, but uh, still don't have the bark that we want. So we're gonna give it another spritz. Okay, we'll be back in an hour. It's gonna be right at that three hour mark and I'm expecting to see a lot more pullback and a good dark color. If we get that, then we're gonna wrap it at three hours. So stick around, I'll be right back. Okay guys, we're right at the three hour mark now. So uh, I'm hoping that those, uh, those ribs are ready to wrap. So let's go take a peek and see if they're ready. Okay, we've got the color we want. You can see we've got some pullback here on the ribs. I think it's time to wrap. So let's get some aluminum foil out. Now I'm putting this shiny side up and I'm gonna make two rows. That should be big enough to hold uh, Hold our ribs. Okay, so wrapping these is easy. I've got my two pieces of foil. I roll, I roll it over onto the meat side. I roll it back onto the bone side and back onto the meat side. And then I'm gonna fold the foil underneath. And now we're going to uh, get this back on Yoda and we're gonna let this continue to cook at the same 275 for two hours. And that's gonna allow it to brazen its own juices. The fat will melt down from the meat side down into the foil. It's, uh, it's gonna be pretty tender when we're done. So I'll see you in two hours. You'll see me in about two seconds. I 
like pig butts and I cannot lie. Oh, sorry, didn't realize you guys were here. Did you miss me? So it's been two hours since I saw you, five hours total into the cook. Those ribs should be nice and tender. So we're gonna open up the foil package. I'm gonna put a little bit more of the Bad Byron's butt rub on top and we're gonna let the outside crisp up a little bit and then we'll be ready to bring them in and taste. Let's see uh, what they look like now. Okay, they look really good. We're gonna give them about 15 minutes. They look really juicy. Good pullback off of the bones. I think they're gonna be delicious. I'll be back in 15 minutes to pull them off the grill. See you in a sec. Okay guys, it's time. You ready to see this? All right, these look amazing. So I'm gonna get inside, you can watch me cut them, and then we'll uh, give them a taste, see how they turned out. Like pig butts and I cannot lie. She hates when I do that. <laughs> Come back. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to the kitchen. You remember my daughter, Leah. Say hi, Leah. Hi. So, or unless you're new, if you're new, you don't know Leah. Leah's nine and she's awesome. So Leah, I made ribs today. These look a little too thick to be ribs. Aha, good observation. These are belly ribs with pork belly attached. Yeah, like the pork belly, remember we made pork belly burnt ends? Yeah. Those were good, right? So this is ribs from the belly with a pork belly. I'm excited about them. Me too. All right, you guys ready to see what it tastes like? All right, which one are you gonna take? I think we should give that in this one. All right, that one's for them? All right, so let's put that right in front here. Uh. All right, and uh, here, I'm gonna put it right here so you guys can, uh, can get it off of there. And then which one are you taking? All right, I'll take this one. All right, are you ready? This is a really big rib. Baby. I know, right? Cheers, cheers. Mm. <laughs> it just melts in your mouth. Mm. I don't really know how to describe this, guys. It's pork belly and it's ribs. Like, it's savory and it's uh, juicy. Here, can you guys see how juicy this is? Well, you're already tasting the one I gave you, but Boy, this is something else. All right, Leah, real quick. M T Y M, moist. Yep. Heck yeah, right? T, tender. Well, I see it's falling apart. I think we it's win the fall. tender. It literally melts in your mouth. Yeah, all right. And yummy? Mm -hmm. All right, so you got it. M T Y here. If you like this, I got a bunch of other videos you're gonna like. I put a playlist right here that's got the, the two rib battles, uh, baby back ribs versus spare ribs. It's got the rib battle where I did the big green egg versus the yoder. Lots of stuff, you're gonna love that. I've also put some stuff down here that you're gonna like. We'll see you next time on Eat, Eat More, More Vegans. Vegans.